Hi again then guys, and we've got another unboxing video today, but this one, this is the big one. I have been waiting for the package from Deutschland, and this is the package. So, we are going to open it up, and uh, some of you can probably guess which one this is going to be. And in fact, somebody, or probably a couple of people, thought that this particular package was the one that I was referring to in the last video because a number of the clues apply in some ways to both cars. This vehicle is very special to me personally and that pretty much gives you the biggest clue if you have been following the channel for a while. So as we open it up, we will find out what is inside of here. And we have another model from Otto Models. And this one is not quite as rare as the Venturi. As I said, the Venturi was one of 1,500. This one is one of 3,000. So it's still very rare. And this is by far the most expensive model car I've ever bought. And it's one of the only model cars, if not the only model car, that I would be willing to even spend that kind of money on. Got a little bit of a sneak peek there. And let's open up this. It's a cellar tip. Open up the tip. Now open. <laughs> it is only a model car, obviously, but still. <laughs> Look at that silhouette. This is literally the only one I could find on the internet, period, for sale. None on, uh, none on eBay, one on Amazon in Germany. This one. Nice and cold. Let's get that out of the way. Look at that. The Renault Espace F1. <laughs> the big one car that I talk about quite a bit on the channel. Very nice size to it. Combination of metal and plastic. Plastic underneath the body's metal. Nice and cold as well. Looks very nice. Nice detailed interior. Still covered in bits of styrofoam. <laughs> Looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Smells pretty good too. The same 
simple underside as uh, the Venturi number 2977 of 3000 top view should be able to see inside there four seats nicely detailed interior I think yeah you can see some of the mechanicals inside in the back yeah look at that it's got a very nice weight to it it is of course 118 scale just like all of the others yeah that is a fantastic looking model worth every penny because <laughs> obviously with a model like this you're not just paying for the car itself you're paying for it from the point of view of a limited edition piece of art in effect because model cars are a form of art just like comic books are they can be worth huge amounts of money um, so yeah this one I don't recall the exact price of when this one was new they do still have this listed on the auto website but it's listed as out of stock because of course they all sold but I believe the price that I picked it up for and the price that you're pretty much guaranteed to pay now for one of these is roughly double what it was when it was new the postage was actually very reasonable given that it came from Germany the car itself as I said was very expensive it was uh, more than double the price of the Venturi but uh, yeah it looks fantastic <laughs> and as I've said of course this this was the big one this is the model that I wanted um, and it's got such a great size to it I mean obviously closer to the camera but closer to me it's still it's got a really good size to it I mean I'm not a good size comparison for a model car but still um, if you bear with me a second I'll get the Venturi as an example so you can see the difference roughly between the two move that one a, bit, a little bit closer much much bigger car than the Venturi that's for sure yeah looks fantastic a couple of really nice French models the Renault obviously being the highlight yeah looks pretty nice pretty nice indeed so uh, yeah I'm, I'm really happy with this one as I said in the last video, at the start of the video, but I'll mention it again, if you'd like to see more pictures of the model cars, this one and the previous ones, some of the ones which never had their own specific video, like the ones on the windowsill which were in a, a group video, then you can check out those on my Instagram, on the screen. But uh, yeah, very happy with this one. There are still obviously other model cars that I'm looking to get, um, but this was the big one. This was the by far the big daddy the holy grail of the range and it's fantastic I love it it looks really really good chunky it's wide it's heavy it's nice and cold to the touch fantastic paintwork on it great detail the doors and that don't wo don't uh, open on this one just like with the Venturi but uh, yeah such a fantastic model as far as I'm aware I think Otto is the only company to actually make the Espace in this size. I think you can get a smaller one, like a 143 scale, which as a comparison, 143, for those who are unaware, that's 143 scale, my GT40. So <laughs> yeah, I think I'd rather have rather have this one. So yeah, pretty pretty nice. The big one. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. I know I certainly have. It's a fantastic looking model, great art piece. And it's one of those models that's pretty much guaranteed to never lose value because it's just that kind of model. So overall, that's it for this particular unboxing. I think the next most significant one for me to try and pick up is a Maserati MC12. As I mentioned a few episodes back, I almost picked one up for a great price, but in hindsight, I should have put my maximum bid higher because it went dirt cheap. But I'm not paying hundreds and hundreds for a Maserati MC12, which you very easily can. So yeah. I love it. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time for another unboxing. 
I am waiting for one more model car to arrive that I've currently ordered. I am bidding on one currently, which is a, a damaged Maserati. It's not an MC12, it's another one, but it is a damaged one. So I'll have to see how that goes. They're very expensive, the one that I'm bidding on, but the door is off. So I'm hoping that that might discourage most people, because I don't mind if the models are broken. With stuff like this, for this price, obviously I'd want that to be perfect, and it is. But for some of them, like some of these... I don't pay stupid money for them because sometimes they're scuffed and scratched, sometimes they're full on broken. I don't really mind that. I, I don't mind gluing a door shut or putting a wheel back on because it still looks good. It just doesn't have the same resale value and I don't really care about that. So very happy with this model and of course I'll see you guys next time for the next one which should be within the next couple of days. One of the bids that I won that I'm still waiting to be delivered. Not exactly a Renault Espas F1 but uh, the next one is uh, very nice. A certain record setter from Germany from 2001 around let's say a very high speed circuit so I'll see you guys next time for that one but for now as always thanks for watching